Um, so yeah, let's let's do this. Patch notes. Version 1.18 update info. So changes. The Nova costumes. Uh, we just saw them on screen. I like him. I like him. Probably one of my favorite packs so far. Except for the price. That's a whole other discussion. Uh, two new outfits, gorgeous dress for Kasumi and Mary Rose. Those are the season pass exclusives, which are basically like golden. It's kind of like golden wedding dresses, kinda, right? Made outfits. I'm not too hyped about them. I, I I'm cold. I don't really. Eh, I mean, they're aight, aight. Added an option to use hairstyles. This one I like. Added an option to use hairstyles from previous... No, from the following past costumes in combination with other costumes. So all the exclusive... You know, like, an outfit came with a specific, like, hairstyle. Yeah, you can use them on every costume now. Or at least the one, the ones are here. Because I don't think everything... Like, for, for these... For Maya and Kula, you can use like the pirate hat on everyone, or like on every costume they have. But for the other characters, they can't use the pirate hat um, anywhere else. Which, unfortunately, I thought they would just open it up to all costumes. You know, all hairstyles on all costumes. Make it happen. Make it happen. That That's for the next season pass. <laughs> and then this change I really like. Um, the option to trigger the effects of Nova and the ninja costumes during entry animations by pressing... Well, they say L2, they mean the town button, right? They mean the town button. So what this means is, uh, during the intro animation, you can press town and like your ninja costume can turn to gold. Or you can activate your, uh, you know, you can turn on the lights on your sci-fi bodysuit. And then, it's a short one. But there's some fixes. It's a short one. Overall performance update, bug fixes, and balance. <laughs> balance. Not much balance changes going on here. So, first of all, low staggers, extra small. Corrected critical finish to match with low staggers, small. Um, now, critical finish, as far as I know, is the stun threshold. So I guess now low staggers and like low staggers, small and extra small are the same towards your critical threshold, I assume. Applicable to Hayabusa and Rachel's 1P and similar moves. All right, all right, all right. Damn, probably the most important fix of all of them. Kasumi removed redundant sound effects on throw. That shit was annoying. Let me tell you, that was annoying. Every time you did a grab, you made a little noise. Ugh. Ugh. Ayane changed the advantage on normal hit back to minus four frames as it had become too long following the animation correction applied in version 1.17. So, I mean, the classic, they change one thing in a version and something else is now a bug. Typical. This is how it goes. So they changed it back um, and it should be working as intended. Oh yeah, so for Ayane, it's just like it's both 1P on normal hit and guard they changed. And then well, I'm going to assume this is the same move in a string as 1P again on normal hit and guard. Um, same thing for Leifang. Two moves, which I'm going to I think it's the same punch at the end. Wrong type of hit direction reaction to occur during crouching back. Now, this is rare, right? How many times do you hit somebody crouching from the back? That doesn't happen a lot, but well, it's fixed now. It's fixed. Then, phase four, same, the redundant sound effects. Thank God. Uh, Rachel, three PPP. Fixed an issue where, following specific inputs, throw grabs failed during the recovery frames. Um, the way I read this, so they mean if you try to throw punish it, 
following specific inputs the throw punish would not connect which I don't think I've seen happen at all but that is a big bug and I'm glad it's squashed and this one 2k to an opponent on the ground fix the issue on the lower level of Chinese festival where an attack character would float and the floor danger zone was triggered does that mean does that mean the stomp doesn't refloat anymore? I haven't tested it. You couldn't throw punish it unless with 10 frames. Damn. 10 frame throws. Or faster, right? Damn. I mean, I guess I play as Rachel, so unless you're fighting against Rachel, you probably don't notice that shit. Mm, then you have issues where the throw didn't come out. Maybe that's it. No, the issues with the throw coming out is purely because I play on stick and pressing throw is for me pressing guard and punch at the same time but if you press guard like a little too early even if you press the buttons together like if you press guard a little bit earlier it free cancels and you don't get the throw that was the problem with what happened with me with missing the, the throw follow-up that was a bug. Seven frame throws didn't. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Damn. Okay, so it's good. That's fixed. Good. So yeah, it's it's a small update, which I don't know. I, I maybe I expected more because it's been because it's been quite a while since we've uh, since we've had a patch. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a you know it's a small one. A, a little a little one a little small one so all so what's the big ones right i guess 2k uh, honestly i want to try that so just to make sure that rachel stomp doesn't relaunch anymore that's a big one because that was as a rachel player very strong but it never seemed quite right you know Hold on. Alright, alright. Alright. Man, you guys are gonna be happy. If you're not playing Rachel, this is very good for you. Damn! 